Sin, Jabal, Jabal, Jid, Christo, Kesir Mari, the keyboards, and my head of the for now. I thank you all very much indeed for the chance to be uh, here with you uh, this afternoon. Um, in my previous life at the university, I used to visit this hall uh, regularly because it's where students do their exams. Uh, so I'm very familiar with uh, the atmosphere that goes uh, with all of that. And coming here today, I thought this is a bit like an exam in its own uh, right, suddenly arriving to find myself uh, in front of you all. But it is a great pleasure uh, to be here with you, a great pleasure to be uh, with Jean as the Chief uh, Nursing Officer, whose uh, advice I have benefited from considerably in the last uh, few weeks. And even in the busy uh, diaries that ministers uh, have, I'm pleased to say that we have now got an arrangement where we meet uh, very regularly, so I am able to keep uh, in touch with the agenda that matters to all of you. Great pleasure to be here with uh, Tina uh, as well, who managed to get me through my first week as Health Minister in uh, different ways and for which I was also very grateful. Look, um, I see your program called uh, Pushing the Boundaries, um, and when I read the program, uh, that you've had today and looked at the different workshops that have been uh, available to you. I was very envious um, of both the richness of the diet that you've had available uh, to you, but also astonishingly impressed by the fertility of ideas that there are here in the NHS in Wales. It's a fantastic programme that you have had, showing just what a range of possibilities there are that are being pursued actively by nurses throughout the NHS. And I think it's a fantastic tribute to what goes on uh, that you have had the programme that you have had here today. And recognising through all of that a fundamental truth of the present health service, that there is no choice but change. All of us are faced with a future in which the age of austerity is combining with a set of demands uh, for health services that mean, no matter how much we might like it, uh, things simply cannot stay the same. But the change that you are talking about today and the examples that you've got in front of you, I think show how even in really difficult times, it is possible to be creative, it is possible uh, to be thinking of new ways in which patients' needs uh, can be met, but it is also to do that in a way that displays a leadership to the rest of the sector, that we can find a way through the real problems that we know we all face together. But not only are you able to show that there is a way through uh, these challenges, but you also, I think, are showing that when we are in a period of change, it is also fundamentally important to know where our boundaries lie. We push at boundaries, but unless we know where our core values and principles lie, then that pushing becomes a directionless uh, thing. Whereas when we know what our core beliefs, values, and purposes are, then I think we are able to push at those boundaries in a way that remains consistent with the things that we know to be most important. And from where I stand as the Minister for Health in Wales, I am determined that we will go on in Wales having a health system that is properly planned, that is provided on the basis of equity, that is animated by a sense of public service, that it will remain a health service rooted in those things which have made it the most important and the most valued public service that we have. And I could see, I thought, in the programme that you have uh, here today, another core and fundamental truth about health, which is that it remains the last outpost of the welfare state. And when the housing department has left your estate, when the social services department has retreated behind a call centre, 
um, when the electricity showroom has closed down. The health service remains the one place that you can go as a citizen and know that even in very difficult times and in very pressurised circumstances, you will meet another human being who is willing to hear your story, to listen to what you have to say, and to respond to you as one human being would to another. And in what nurses do, that fundamental sense of a human encounter rooted in a belief that care is fundamental to what we do, I think is one of those rooting principles that means we can push our boundaries without losing touch with the really important things that matter. That's why the quality of care will have run, I know, like a theme of everything that you have talked about here today. That's why the jobs that you do remain so valued by our fellow citizens. That's why the work that you do in all the different cities settings of the NHS across Wales continues to enjoy the support of people in Wales at a level and at a degree that would be the envy of any other public service. And as we go ahead and as we reshape our health services uh, for the future, making sure that we remain true to these routine principles, I think, is our guide through some difficult territory ahead. So I just wanted, uh, on behalf um, of the government in Wales, but much more importantly, on the part of those people in Wales who come into contact with you and your fellow workers day in, day out, to say thank you so much uh, for what you do, um, for you to know just how much it is appreciated, and for you to know that as you help us to shape the future uh, that we look to design uh, here in Wales, that appreciation, that sense of connectedness to the lives of other people will be an essential asset in shaping the future we want to bring about. Dear Mariana,